Hello and welcome to this week's video and in this week's video we're gonna talk about Warrior Assault System Falcon Chest Rake. This has been my chest rake for the last year and I had a lot of fun using this little chest rake on indoor and outdoor activities and uh, I'm gonna explain you why. Finding the right piece of kit is not easy and uh, for chest rigs it's the same thing. But in this video I'll go over the reasons why I chose the Warrior Assault System Falcon chest rig. Um, I will go over the features and why I like them and how I use this chest rig. I use the chest rig battle belt combination because it's a flexible and easy system to get you to any events that you want to go. I can go with this setup to indoor, outdoor, milsim, whatever you want. It can do it. I'm choosing for a chest rig system because I like to have my back clear if I want to have uh, different kind of backpacks or uh, hydration carriers so I can change up the backpacks and that also adds up to the flexibility of my setup. Now if you chose a chest rig from all the carrier systems that are around there, um, there are still a lot of different kind of chest rigs. You got the micro chest rigs, you got the bulky vest style chest rigs, but this Falcon chest rig is a little bit in between. It has a little bit more capacity to carry stuff around and it's not as bulky as the big vest bulky ones. Now I chose for a system with fixed pouches because I found the setup that I wanted. You also could go for uh, empty molly uh, chest strap and you can add your own pouches as you please but with the fixed pouches the fixed pouches are on the chest rig and they are a little bit more stable it's a little bit uh, it's not wobbling around as much as with the molly pouches especially if you go a layer over layer over layer and if I hadn't found this chest rig with this pouch configuration I would have built it myself with the pouch panel with the molly straps and then added my own pouches so I can configure my own uh, setup now if you want to find the chest rig that fits your needs the first thing that you need to think about is what will I carry on my chest rig? Well, for me, it's quite easy. I need my magazines and I need my radio and I need some extra pouches just in case some extra items are needed for bigger missions or uh, in-game items or whatever. I need some, uh, I need some uh, room to grow if it's needed. Also, I don't want too much pouches in front of me. I want them more on the side because otherwise if I crawl on my belly, the pouches will get in the way and uh, it's, it's, it's getting hard. Now this is why I chose this chest rig over all the chest rigs that are around there. Now let's go over the features. There is room for 8 M4 style magazines just on the top of your belly. So there are two magazines for each pouch. Now normally they come with those elastic bungee thingies. I don't like them uh, so I remove them. It is harder to get the magazines back in. And I'm looking for something else. I will maybe making a flap of it to cover up the magazines and leave some of them free. Now I don't have any problems with the magazines dropping out or falling out while I'm running but just in case for the more uh, crazy adventure thingies I will try to cover them up a little bit so they uh, stay in place. And on the inside of the pouch there is some black anti-slippery material and it keeps the pouches um, really sturdy. Now there are also two bigger utility pouches on the both sides of the chest rig that are going a little bit under your arms and I use that one for my radio and the other one I use for in-game materials. Now with those patches there are also elastic bands on it I also remove them but you can add them back in and then you can have the bigger radios in your pouch. And in the front you have two pouches to store smaller items like a small phone or a map or whatever you want uh, to store in there. Uh, I don't use them too much because I don't like to have it too bulky in front of my belly. If you buy the chest rig there are also two pistol pouches that are on those molly straps here. I removed them because my pistol pouches are on my battle belt and I didn't use those molly straps yet but sometimes there is a stylus or something else in those molly straps. Now the straps are really comfortable, they are not too thick so if I have to carry a backpack over it it's really comfortable. There is enough padding to just not to cut in your shoulders and I really like them. There is a, I don't know how you call it, it's not an X frame or a Y frame. It's a quite comfortable strap on the back. There is also some velcro on the back if you want to have your name patches or any patches on the back. On the straps there is also some molly loops that you can use for cable management or to add your PTT on it. And there are some um, stretchy loops on the uh, shoulder straps and that's also for some cable management. The straps have three buckles on each side to remove the vest so you can choose what buckle you want to loosen to get your chest rig off. There is also a compartment behind your magazine pouches where you can store whatever a map or something else I don't use it I think it's really hard to uh, reach into it if you have your chest rig on but if you want to hide some documents in there that's a perfect hiding spot 
Now the fabric is the high quality fabric that War Assault System uses with all their products and it's really sturdy, it's really, it really can take a beating. Now uh, one small minor thing that I need to say is they don't have it in OD. Come on Warrior, get your shit together or make it in M81, that would be awesome. Now um, I tried to find them in uh, ATAX FG but they don't make it anymore and I can only find it in Coyote. And I don't like it. So I tried spray painted it, but the paint is coming off. So if anybody has an idea to color uh, some fabric, just let me know in the comments so I can change it into uh, a nicer color. Now let's talk about the numbers. Now I don't have that much numbers for you. I can only say this costs around 120 to 130 euros, depending on the shop you're buying from. Now, and that is why I chose this chest trick. Now it's very important that I chose this chest trick for the games that I'm playing. Uh, if you see yourself in the things that I'm doing and you think that that will fit you, go ahead and buy this chest trick. But first, go over the plan. What are you going to do with your chest trick before buying one? Because it's a lot of money and you might just spending it on the wrong thing. For me, this is the perfect chest trick. It might not be one for you. So take that in mind while going shopping for a chest trick. Now, if you have any questions about this chest rig or any chest rig in particular that you're looking at, just post it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as, as fast as possible. Now, if you think I forgot something about this chest rig or have you been using this chest rig and you think that I said something wrong, just post it in the comments and we can discuss about it. And if you want to see more videos about the gear that I'm using, I'll put up a link with all the videos in the playlist. And if you want to see more videos about anything airsoft related, you can find them on my channel. There are gameplay videos, Milsim videos, or uh, just DIY videos of things that I'm making for airsoft. But for now, I'll wish you a good day and I'll see you all next week. Bye.